Although the scientific community exuded confidence, a rare clarity that they could explain most things with reason, there were some experimental results that the classical theory or physics could not explain. Take black body radiation for instance. Most of us have had the experience, the sensation of feeling the warmth or heat around a solid object or a hot solid rather. When you're near a fireplace or a hot pressure cooker, we can sense heat. This is because the energy is radiated by the solid and we are able to sense the heat transfer. Any object will radiate energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation purely as a consequence of its temperature. The red glow of an electric heater and the bright white light of a tungsten filament in an incandescent light bulb are very familiar examples. This radiation is referred to as black body radiation. Take a look at this experimental setup. So we have an incandescent emitter. Now using electrical parameters, we can change the temperature of the radiation which emits, which is emitted from this emitter. So and here we have a wavelength filter. So for a particular temperature, there is a radiation and this radiation is incident on the filter. Using this filter, we can choose a very specific wavelength to pass through whereas the other wavelengths are shunned out. And this wavelength intensity is captured by this device. So we repeat the same observation. We calculate or we plot the intensity for different wavelengths for the same temperature and thus we get this graph. And by changing the electrical parameters, we can alter the temperature of the incandescent emitter. And in this manner, we get these graphs. If we measured the intensity of black body radiation versus the wavelength emitted at different temperatures, we would obtain a series of curves similar to the ones shown here. The experimental evidence, the measurements were not in agreement with the classical theory. Let me make this clear with this graph. The dotted line is what the graph should have been according to the theory or the then theory or classical physics. But the experiment paints a very different picture. If we assume that the classical theory is right, it suggests that all objects in the universe should be infinitely bright. But this clearly is not true. And the incorrect prediction is called the ultraviolet catastrophe. Definitely something was missing in the classical theory, isn't it? Thank <laughs> you.